Hi there everybody, something a little different today. It's Mike Smith from uh, Hawkeye Traders. We're looking at TXN now. We entered this in the Hawkeye Options portfolio on the 11th of March and you'll see that line here. Uh, that's where we entered on this bar here. Uh, subsequently, of course, we had a little bit of a little bit of a retracement following a move up and then a retracement again and then another move up there. So what we're going to talk about in this quick session is exits. So there are a few things that were in our mind as this trade developed and the reason we're doing this is because obviously entry is relatively easy it's what happens next that makes the difference on a sustained basis to whether you do well with your trading or whether you don't so i just thought some explanation of the processes that led up to the exit of this trade in the last session as i said we had a move up and we're still in a hawkeye uptrend right throughout this period and there's still green buying volume there. So why have we exited this position already? Well, there are a couple of things that were on our mind. The first thing, of course, is you'll see this line across here, which corresponds to the pivot highs that we hit in late October, mid-November and mid-December. That also just happened to be the price point at which it closed the day before yesterday. So that was the first thing. We were at a critical price point. Second thing was is, of course, that we were fully aware of the fact that there's non-farm payrolls released today. And quite often before that's released, particularly in a market like this, that often we see selling before a major data point. Because the market's still a little nervous, still a little fragile, still quite Fed-driven at the moment. So we made the decision on Wednesday after seeing that close at that price point and the fact that there was a non-farm payrolls day and, of course, the fact that we'd made in excess of 50% on the trade already, that it would be prudent to exit and to exit fairly close to market open. So we put in an order and obviously those who are part of the Hawkeye Options uh, setup will have seen this, uh, that we put in an order for 15 minutes into the trading day. Consequently, of course, what happened was it opened just over 58 and dropped about 30 cents in that first 15 minutes, at which point, of course, we exited. So the end result was we entered this position for 77 cents per share for an April 57.50 call, and we were out of it at $1.06. Uh, so a profit of 29 cents on a 77 investment, which is a relatively good return, as I'm sure you can you can work out in percentage terms. The other thing, of course, is that we can use uh, quite commonly as other exit strategies. We can use the trend dots. We can also use the ATR level. So if we put an ATR level on where we're entered, we also noted that it was actually above our golden ATR three level there at $58. So we we're quite happy that we would take this off the table. The fact that it took some time to actually evolve into a successful trade was something that we were prepared to be patient with. But we also, of course, have time decay starting to work against us. Uh, and that was another reason why we chose to exit as we did. The fact that it subsequently dropped after closing uh, from 9.45 to the end of the day, it lost uh, it lost another 50 cents or so. So that would have impacted significantly on our profit. Uh, it would have still been a marginally profitable, tra profitable trade, but not one that gave us the returns that, uh, that we actually got at the end of the day. So there's a few lessons in, in terms of exit. First of all, have an exit plan in place. Secondly, base it on the bigger picture stuff so not just the fact that something's still an uptrend but the fact that we're nearing a point of resistance we're keeping an eye on big data and of course the technical reasons that we've explained also i hope that's useful as i said exits are where the money is so please focus as many of your energies and efforts on that part of your trading as you do on entries bye bye for now